Good evening, people. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I am pretty well. Are you? Very excited <laughs> to start this class. <laughs> okay, people. Uh, let's see how many. We have only... Okay, now we have nine students. That's good. Nine students. Um, well, guys, um, in a moment, you will see my presentation. Let me share my presentation with you. You are going to start intermediate one. The section one topic is a time to remember. In this section, you are going to learn about the past. The past time. Hey, Francisco, it's good to see you again. Hey, teacher, I think you just... <laughs> so I'm going to have some faces, known faces like Isaura, Francisco, let's see who else. <laughs> Maybe others. Okay, good. Okay, so as I was telling you, uh, you're going to study the past. And good night, good evening, Ruth, good evening. Uh, what? For the people who don't know me, my name is Rocio Chicas de Gomez. I will have the pleasure to be your facilitator this course, Intermediate One. This is the class number one. And well, it's Monday, May 22nd, 2023. This is a little bit about myself. I have 10, almost 10 years working as a teacher in different places. And you know, right, you have some assignment and evaluations in the platform that you have to complete. In this week, for example, you have to complete section one and two. Next week, you have to complete section three and midterm, week three, section four, and week four, section five, and the final exam. Okay, Blanca. Good. So you know the some of the rules you have to follow in the class. Well, you have to keep uh, the silence smooth. Um, and unless you participate, okay, you can turn on your microphone. Remember to to be on time for the class. To stay present when I take the attendance. To have your camera on to participate, that's very important in my classes, to use the chats, raise your hand, and always be respectful with your class. Okay. Uh, well, uh, something I have to tell you is that with me, guys, you there's no class on Wednesday, okay? In these classes, no tenemos clase los miércoles, voy a decir en español porque <laughs> recordemos, the classes are Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? No Wednesday. I can't, okay? I, I can't teach on Wednesday. So the class is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Good. Do you have any questions about that? Not That's okay. One. Thank you. Okay, lesson objective. In this lesson, you will be able to talk about your past using what and where in various regular and irregular verbs. We have some examples. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. So as I told you, you are going to learn about the past. ¿Ya habían aprendido sobre el pasado antes? Did you learn about the past before? Just a little? Yes. A little. Yes, a little, teacher. Just a little. Oh, that's right, because you already know something about the topic. So it's not completely new. Okay, so we have here recalling previous knowledge. Then we have let's learn about, about the past. And we have conversation time and wrap up. But before we start, I need to take the attendance. So please be ready to say present or here. Let's 
si oh I need to I need to look for the correct list. Give me a moment, guys. Because I was in another class. Okay, right now. Intermediate one from 9 to 10 p.m. The first person in the list is Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Adriana Gretel Gonzalez, is she here? Are you here in the class, Miss? I guess not. Ana Silvia Rodriguez de Funes. Present. Present. Okay, Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Present. Thank you. Blanca Margarita Guevara. I'm here. Thank you, Blanca. Brian Iverson Escobar. I'm here. Is what is how do you pronounce your your middle name? Uh Iverson. Iverson, okay. Thank you. David Alonso Mejia. Hi, good evening. Is that ah, that is Adriana? Okay, Adriana. Good evening, Adriana. David Alonso Mejia. No present. Esaú Ismael Tobar. I'm here. Thank you. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Sounds familiar. Evelyn Janet. Francisco Villafuerte. Present teacher. Thank you. Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Thank you, Glendy. Giselle Marie Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Iris Janet Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Iris. Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Great, thank you. Jairo Namamos Ortiz. Hello, everyone. Good night. Good evening. Josué Miguel Portillo. Present. Thank you. Karen Bernal de Avelar. Present, teacher. Karen, Karen Iber Villanueva. Here I am, teacher. Good. Kenya Vanessa Corpera. Present, teacher. Great, thank you. Leslie Victoria Moral. No present. Eh, Luisa Ariana Guerra. Present. Yo, Luisa, Mayra Patricia Pérez. Not present. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Not present. Ninrat Saúl Guzmán. Not present. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present. Oh, thanks. Oscar Alexander Santana. Present teacher. Oscar Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you, Renato. Ruth Noemí Beltrán Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruth. Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Not present. Okay, thank you for the ones who are present in the class and thank you for your punctuality. Okay, so as I tell you, we're going to start with recalling previous knowledge. Please guys, in this moment, you are going to write all the verbs you can remember in one minute. So in this moment, in the chat, in the chat, you write, but, uh, you send until you finish, until you finish all to write all the verbs. I, I'm gonna write an example. You write it like this. For example, you say run, eat, study, write, and you continue, right? But until I say uh, the time is over, you press enter and you send the message. Like it, okay? So I'm gonna tell you when to start. <clears throat> uh, let's see the, the stopwatch. One minute, guys, one minute. I will tell you when to start. You can start now, okay? Start writing all the verse you can remember in this moment, now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bueno, les dije que lo mandaran el enter hasta que terminaran de escribir todos, que lo escribieran, lo separaran por coma. Right, is, study, run, en un mismo mensaje, solo van a mandar un mensaje con todos los verbos que puedan. Ok, 15 seconds, 14 seconds, 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time over. <laughs> okay, now you can send the message. Let me see. Oh, we have a lot. For example, run, walk, study, look, send, run, eat, go, talk, write, read, see, learn, write, no work, say, try, look, read, see, watch, learn, take, run, study, write, tell, write, go, eat, play, take, call, dry, see, learn, read. Fall and sing, win, swing, run, walk, talk, think, learn, discover, force, improve, increase, play, feel, fear, fix. Wow, great, very good. I can see you write many verbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you for participating. Now, Can you tell me, guys, you can open your microphone and tell me which verbs are regular? Since you already know a little bit about the, the past tense, can you tell me which verbs are regular verbs? De los que escribieron, which verbs, which verbs are regular? One volunteer. Me, me, me. Rise, wrote. Ah, that is, that's irregular. Forget, forget. Irregular. Um, right, wrong. Uh -huh. It's irregular. Um, uh, wrong, wrong. Irregular yeah. verb. Got. Getting got. Irregular verb. Okay, thank you, Karen. So Karen gave us examples of irregular verbs. Irregular verbs change. They change when they are in the past, right? Now, can you tell me which verbs are regular? Ah, Miguel. Okay, Miguel, can you tell us? A ver, Miguel, se los puede decir. Pronounce. pronounce. Uh, okay. Ajá. Ajá. He, he... Uh, yes, Miguel. Do you listen? Do you listen yeah. to me? Perfect. Okay. Um, learned, fixed, played, increased, improved, talk. Very good. Talk. Okay. okay. Great, great, Miguel. What is the characteristic of regular verbs? The word is different. That is for irregular verbs. And for regular verbs? Ah, it's a who says it is. Exactly. Okay, regular verbs and in it. Is. Okay. To make it To make a regular verb in past, you just add ed. For example, uh, let me see. Learn. In the past is learned. I just add ed. Okay, another one. Dance. Ah, dance already has an e. I only add d. Dance. Another one. Watch. Okay, watch. I add ed. Watched. Another one. Study. Ah, in this case, it ends in Y. I delete the Y and I write I E D. Study it. Study it. Okay? Good. Now, irregular verbs change completely. They change, they change in the past. 
And, well, eh, Karen gave us some examples. For example, right, ella nos dijo right, road, right? Um, yes. Another one, think, thought, eat. Swim, swam. Eat, exactly, swim, swam. You have to learn the past tense of these verbs because they change when they when they are in past. Okay? So this is just the start. This is just like the beginning of the class. Now let's go over the most important information. Can I erase? Well, what right? Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, so simple past regular verbs. What is the formula or the structure? It's very easy. For me, I think it's easier than the simple present. The simple past is just like this. Subject, the verb for regular, regular verb. Subject, then you have the verb plus ed, the verb with the ed, and the complement. Examples. A ver, ¿quién me lee los ejemplos? Who can read the example? Uh, Ruth, teacher. Ruth, please. Okay. I studied for the exam last night. She played video games all the afternoon. They pronounced the words correctly. I didn't dance in the party. Thank you so much, Ruth. So as you notice, the verb study changed for study it. I studied it for the exam last night. She played video games. They pronounced the words correctly. That is for regular verb. Regular verb. Okay, simple past, regular verb. <clears throat> now, negative form. What is the auxiliary in the present? Do you remember the auxiliary in the present? For the negative? Do. Uh, do, do, don't, do, 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 does. Do and don't and doesn't, right? But in the, in the past tense, it's only one. It's only one. Didn't. Okay. Or did not. And the verb is in the base form. Example, I didn't dance in the party. I didn't dance in the party. ¿Cómo harían estos ejemplos, sentences, examples, in negative? Sería, I didn't study. 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 He didn't mm -hmm. study for the exam. Play. Uh -huh. She didn't play and they didn't. Pronounce. Pronounce. Okay. So this is for regular verbs. Ruth, do you have a question? Or it's just. No. 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 Okay. Thank no. you. Thank you. Okay. Now, there is something very important for the regular verbs. And this is the pronunciation. There are three forms to pronounce the ED in the regular verb, okay? They can be pronounced as t, t, t at the end, or d, d, or ed, ed. Uh, the first time you are pronouncing the past tense could be like a little bit forced, but later will be normal for you. Okay, but at the beginning, uh, when you are learning, you have to, to make an effort to pronounce correctly the verbs in past. For example, verbs ending in a voiceless sound. ¿Cuáles son los voiceless? Son los que es voiceless sound. Son todos los que cuando usted se toca aquí, La garganta, you touch your throat, you don't feel vibration. For example, the verb help, you can make the exercise. Touch your throat 
touch your toe and pronounce with me help, kiss, laugh, wash, finish, dance, look, watch. No vibration. No vibration. So those ones, when you add ed in the past, the pronunciation will be t at the end. For example, helped, kissed, laughed, washed, finished, danced, looked, watched. Okay? Así que no vayan a andar diciendo help it, kiss it, dance it, look it. No. Okay? Now, after this class, you know it's helped, kissed, laughed, washed, finished, danced, looked, and watched, or washed. Okay? Any questions? So far, so good. So far, so good? So far, so good. So far, so good, okay. Now, verse ending in a boy sound, they, that could be, they finish with these sounds, as you can see here, or a vowel sound. The pronunciation is d, d, d. For example, ah, but how do you know they are boy sound? Because when you touch your throat, there's vibration. Row, bear, call, claim, clean, offer, love, realize. Do you feel vibration? Yes, there's vibration in the vocal cords. So, how are they pronounced? Road, begged, called, claimed, cleaned, offered, loved, realized, realized. Okay? So it's like that. Cleaned. No, it's clean it. Cleaned. Okay? And this is the easiest one. The most fast, the easiest one, when the verb ends in T or in or D, is it. Wanted, educated, ended, needed, decided. Okay? They end. Cuando el verbo termina en sonido T or D, is it. Y aquí están los ejemplos. Como want. Terminant, wanted, educate, educated, and ended, need, needed, visit, visited, visited. I visited a taco yesterday. I visited my mother last Monday. Okay? So that is pronunciation. Uh, I will send you later when we finish the class uh, this exercise so you can work on it. You will listen and you will write the verb in the correct column with the correct pronunciation. Okay? Very good. So this is for regular verb. Regular verbs. Les voy a poner unos verbos y ustedes me dicen cómo se pronuncian, ¿ok? Vamos a ir escribiendo. I will write them down. And you will tell me how to pronounce. Open your microphone. <coughs> Sweet look. sound. Look. 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 Looked. Looked. Look, one, 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 one
I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> Help. 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 Listen, 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 Close. Close. Okay, okay. We have to practice. We have to practice with speaking. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for participating. Now, let's learn about irregular verbs. The structure is the same. We have subject, verb, and complement. Subject plus the verb in past. Remember, it changes plus the complement. Example, Isaura, me lee los examples. Read examples, please. Okay. She wrote a letter to her mother. They saw a strange person on the street. Charlie cooked the vegetable. Exactly. We have the right road, see, saw, and cut, cut. There are some irregular verbs that they are the same in the present and in the past. Uh, one example is cut. Another one is put. Another one is set. Another one is let. And another one is read. Okay, read is in, in the present. But in the past, you write it exactly the same but the pronunciation is different. Read in the present. In the past is red, like the color, red. She read the newspaper. She wrote a letter to her mother and her mother read the letter. Okay. It's easy, right? You just have to learn and practice the verbs in past, irregular and regular verbs. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Can I continue with the next slide? Or not yet? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're very intelligent. Very good. What is the difference between regular and irregular? Regular verb, the past form, and it is. ¿Verdad? Su forma en pasado termina con ed. Play, played. Dance, danced. Look, looked. Irregular verbs, they have a, oops, sorry, sorry. With the irregular verbs, the past forms have a lot of different endings. <laughs> Miren la carita del hombre, the man's face. With the irregular verbs, he needs to learn. Run, run. Read, read, see, saw. Y el otro que les aparece aquí es el pasado participio, pero todavía no hemos llegado ahí. ¿Ok? The past participle. Usually when you look for a list of verbs in past, they have the present, the past, and the past, and the participle, the past participle. Okay, so in this moment, it's just the past, the simple past. Okay, so here you can see examples of irregular verbs. I need a volunteer to read the different activity in affirmative and negative. I need a volunteer to help me. Me teacher, me teacher. Okay, Jenny, Jenny Cruz. Oh, no. <laughs> I did my homework. I didn't do the laundry. Uh, you got up at noon. You didn't get up at eight. Uh, she went to the bookstore. She didn't go to the library. We went our classmates. We met? We met, we met our classmates. We didn't meet your, our teacher. Uh, you come home later. Late, late. You didn't come home early. They had a barbecue. They didn't have a picnic. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you for your reading. Yes, yeah. so as you, you can see here, for example, the pass of do did the pass of get get up got up the pass of go went the pass of meet met the pass of come came have has right what is the present of but by by exactly eight it our favorite activity May. 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 Read. Uh, read. 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 <laughs> so. Sí. Sí. That. The present of that. Sit. Sit. Sit down. You are sitting down at this moment. <laughs> okay, so you can see here different activity. Now, we have a conversation here and I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Me David teacher. Alonso. Teacher. David Alonso and... Vamos a ver quién más está levantando la mano. En Blanca Margarita. Entonces... Uh, Sean is David and Yuna is Blanca. Okay? Okay. Lights, camera, action. Hi, Yuna. Do you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then I clean the apartment up uh, the apartment. They did the laundry and went shopping, and in the evening, I visit 
my parents. And what do you do on Sunday? I studied for our test all day. Oh no, I didn't study for the test. I just watched TV TV shows all weekend. <gasps> Davy, you should have studied for the exam. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for participating, guys. I really appreciate your uh, participation. Okay, so as you notice, in this conversation, they have questions in the past. To make questions, we use the auxiliary. In the present, you use do or that. Do. Do. But in the past, we used did. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. A lot of things to do. I'm a little tired. Really? Why? Then she explained all the activities she did. I exercised. I cleaned. I did the laundry. Went shopping. I visited my parents. Um, information questions. What did you do on Sunday? I studied for our test. Oh no, I didn't study. I just watched TV shows. <laughs> Not a good decision. Okay, so now guys, you are going to talk about your weekend. But before, in this moment, I need you to write in your notebook Things you did on the weekend and things you didn't do on the weekend. Write five and five. I'm going to write my examples here. Things I did. I worked. I worked on Saturday morning. Yes, I worked on Saturday morning. <laughs> Okay, I, mm, I washed, well, I did the laundry because I used the washing machine. So I did the laundry, I visited my mother, my relatives, what else? I made a lunch, dinner on Saturday. What else? A, and I woke up at 7 a.m. on Sunday. Okay, things I didn't do. Well, I didn't work on Sunday. Thank God. I didn't go to a party. Ah, also, I watched TV. I watched a movie yesterday. I want to write here. I watched Madagascar. Three, and I laughed a lot. Okay, now things I didn't do, I didn't work, I didn't go to a party, I didn't water the plants, poor plants. I didn't wash my cat because he doesn't like it. And, and I didn't eat pizza. And I didn't eat pupusa. That's very that's very sad. But I ate tacos. Okay, we have some messages here. I visited the beach. That's crazy. Oh. Okay, did you finish? Uh, yes, I mean, 
I finish. Great. So now, guys, I'm going to send you to break a room, and you will have a conversation in English. The question, the first question you're going to make is this. Did you have a good weekend? Hey, um, hey, Maria, did you have a good weekend? Because I yes, it was good. Uh, and you mentioned the things you did. And you can mention the things that you didn't do. And you can say, what about you? Okay. So right now, it's time to go to the breakout rooms and practice your speaking. Yes, Karen, what's your problem? Teacher, in this room, I have a pneumonia. I don't talk much. I can talk. Okay, you can participate with chat. Okay. No problem. Okay. Thank, thank you. Tienen problemas para entrar a la salita. Yes, teacher. I have problems. Okay. If you have problems, you can stay here with Blanca, with Ruth, with Adriana, Renato, and you can practice here. If, if there's no possible, si no hay otra manera, you can stay here, okay? Pueden quedarse aquí, solo voy a mover a Adrián. Okay. Yesterday. Uh, I ate ice cream. It, it was good. <laughs> And that's it. What about you? Mm, I the things I did in my in my weekend, I work on a sun and Sunday and Saturday. I did my laundry. I went to go to the supermarket. I went to the park to walk, and I visited my friends. The things I didn't do, I didn't work on Sunday, I didn't cook, I didn't exercise, I didn't wake up on my bed, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take a bath, <laughs> a shower. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to keep I'm thinking. <laughs> we are going to keep the secret, okay? Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> And you teach it. <laughs> Hi. You make me laugh. <laughs> okay. I, I took a shower. <laughs> And yes. <laughs> And yesterday I visited my mom and my niece. And she has a pool because, you know, it's very hot in the sun. It's very hot now these days. So yes. she has a pool and I swung with her in her pool. It was a small pool, but it was nice to be there in the water. 
Yeah, uh, I take two showers a day because it's mm -hmm. so hot. Very hot, yeah. True. What about Giselle, Marie, Giselle, Marie, and Miguel? I I visit my mother. You visited. You visited your mother. Yes. Okay. I I went to the doctor. Really? Are you sick? It's a uh, routine. Ah, okay, okay. What else? And what else? Um. I go to the the dinner with my husband. Oh, that's great. It's the date. Ah, you had a date. I yes. I didn't I think didn't do. Uh -huh. I I didn't watch my car. Okay. <laughs> I didn't uh, go to the supermarket. Okay. Only that. Only that. Okay. Thank you so much for your um participation. I'm going to check another group. Okay. You can continue practice. Okay. Okay. Se hicieron. No sé quién. ¿Quién va a comenzar? ¿Cómo? Yo, yo voy a decir las que, que tengo escritas. Ok, y después voy yo y de último que, que vaya Oscar. Ok. Ok. Things that I, that, I did, that I did the last weekend. I went to visit to my mom. I danced in my friend's party. I played soccer with my son. I... I swim, I swam in the pool. And only four, I have only four on the list. And things that I didn't do the last weekend. I I didn't do exercise. I, I didn't go. Uh, sorry. Um, let me see. I I didn't go to the beach. Este, yo no terminé de copiar lo que. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Just continue. Continue. No problem. <laughs> The um, so you didn't finish taking notes, but it's just right now the activity to talk about your weekend. How was your weekend? What did you do? Well, my weekend, uh, I have uh, more activities with my family, uh, I did a school. Uh, activities while my, with my son. I did laundry. I visit my grandmother. Uh, and I, I, no sé cómo se dice go en pasado, se me olvidado. I went. I went. <coughs> I went a new place. No, I, I went to visit a new place of coffee. You went to visit a new coffee shop. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> repeat it, repeat it. I went, I went, I went to visit a new coffee shop. I went, I went a new, I went to a new coffee shop. I went to a new coffee shop. Really? Where? Yes. Where? And, and so yes, the, the coffee shop. The name of coffee shop is a Bible ba, Biblioteca Cafe. Bible, Bible Biblioteca Cafe because Biblioteca it's a, Cafe. Uh -huh. and, and the Antiguo Cuscatlan. 
Oh, interesting. It's very, very nice place. Yes. Is the coffee good? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, continue, please, practicing. I'm going to check other groups. Okay. What? Hi, I'm just I'm just listening. Hi, hello. Hi. Just, How was just... your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yes. Yeah, I have a good weekend. Yes. I it was a, a good... very hard weekend, right? Yeah. Yes. It's very hard. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I visited my mom and my niece had her pool. So I was in the pool with my niece. It was nice in the water. <laughs> oh, that's I nice. In the water, yes. <laughs> well, guys, we have just a couple of minutes, so we are going to come back, okay, to the main. All right. Okay. No estaba, Fes. Ah, yo estuve con ella anteriormente. En lo no. mm. Uh, y éramos de 8 a 9 la hora, el grupo. Mm. Por eso quizás soy nuevo en este grupo. ¿Verdad? But don't worry, Francisco. ¿Verdad? Don't worry, you are going to make new friends in this group. Ok. <laughs> ok, so how was, how was the practice? How was the speaking practice? Good, I think this is nice. Would you like to share what you did or what your classmates did on the weekend or didn't do? Cool. I, any volunteer? If you want, Francisco, go ahead. Okay, uh, I go. Uh, and my weekend, I do. Uh, I meet with my friends. You met. You met. I, I met. I met with my friends. I cook in my house, and I went to the gym. And I sleeps late. You slept late. And what did you cook? What did you cook? What did you make? Uh, I make uh, um. Chicharrones. Oh, nice. yeah. Uh huh. Um, in I make um the soup. And a soup. And Did soup. You drink beer. Uh, no, only <laughs> only only Coca Cola. Only soda. Okay. Only soda. Yeah. <laughs> David doesn't believe you. <laughs> okay, Blanca Margarita, do you have a comment? Yes, I understood. Oh, what happens, Blanca? He turned off yeah. her microphone. Okay, con look. Start yes. again. Thanks. Thanks. I understood that Isaura, Isaura and Mayra uh, were very bu very busy in this weekend. Um laundry and clean the her houses and many things. And I I was only visited visited my parents and my friends and I wasn't work in my house. <laughs> oh you didn't do any work at home. I didn't yes I didn't work. Mm -hmm. You didn't do any work. That's okay. <laughs> that was a fantastic weekend. <laughs> okay, great. Somebody else? David? Yes, um, in my case, I, in Saturday, uh, in the morning, I went to the park with my brother. And later, I went shopping. Uh, in the afternoon, I traveled to San Miguel. Um, and at night, there was a ball, and I went to dance. 
Um, on Saturday, on Saturday, and yes, yes, I did the things in Saturday. But on Sunday, I didn't go to swim. I didn't go to the beach. And I didn't do my homework because I was so tired. <laughs> but yes, and it was very hot, so I didn't drink a cup of coffee in the afternoon. Okay, and what's so bad you didn't drink coffee? What did you drink? I I drink a I drank a um a glass of soda. You drank a glass of soda. Only the soda? Yeah, there's only the soda. With eyes, <laughs> right? With eyes. With eyes. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, guys, thank you. Thank you for your participation. Well, guys, um, we just have three more minutes. So, well, tomorrow we are going to continue with more exercises and more uh, activities to practice the past tense. But let's complete this exercise before we go, okay? So Ray is talking about his weekend, complete the sentences. For example, on Friday night, I wanted to go out, but my friend just didn't again, call. Didn't call, exactly. My friend didn't call. I <clears throat> decided. Correct pronunciation. I decided to stay home and I played. Played. I played video played. games. I played video games. On Saturday, visited. 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 I visited. <clears throat> I visited my friend Pablo. We. So, so, we talked. 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 Miren, talked. en esta no se pronuncia la L. Solo T-A-K and T. We talked. And listened. Listened. And listened. 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 In the evening, he invited. 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 Invited, he invited some friends over and we cook, 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 and we cooked a Korean work. I didn't 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 work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study. I didn't study at all. At all significa para nada. I didn't study at all. I just work. 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 Esta es otra que no pronunciamos la L. I, I just walked work. to the mall work. and shop. 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 Okay, very nice. Very nice. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, can you tell me what did you learn in this class? Yes. Yeah. What did you learn in this class? I need two participations and then we say goodbye. Miguel Portillo, we listen to you. Uh, okay. Uh, I about a little bit about the pronunciation, how um discover maybe uh to, to pronounce T. D or E D. Yes. In in regular verse in past. Great Miguel. Very nice. Okay, somebody else. Can you tell me something you learned in this class? Only one. Let's see, Esau. What did you learn in this class, Esau? Okay, I. Puedo usar el pasado. I learned. Okay, I learned. Oh, I no, I learned 
in the class, uh, the pronunciation, um, every the words, uh, for example, uh, the was, I don't know what is this. Uh, the was is the was or was? Oh, so, so, sorry. It's so, so, I don't know what is so. so uh, the difference is the regular verbs. It's a regular verb, irregular. Yeah, yeah it's the past of C. C? Exactly. So. So, exactly. Mm -hmm. So is the past, is the okay. letter form. Yeah, we learned that irregular verbs change in the past, right? Okay, people, thank you, Saul. Now, the homework will be the exercise I will send you about pronunciation and also look for a list, a list of verbs in the past, okay? It's important. I will, I will see if I have one that I can share with you. If not, you can look on the internet a list and if you can print the list and have it, it's going to be better for you, okay? To start practicing and learning the past tense of the verbs. Mm, okay, okay, people, okay. It, was a, it was a pleasure. The, the, the regular verb oh, okay. and regular verb. Both, Both yes, same. regular Both and same. regular. Okay, thank you. Yes, okay, have a great night, sweet dreams, see you tomorrow. Thank, thank you. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow.